Hey guys, what's up? This is JRP77 from JG and Games, and I'm going to be uh, continuing my tutorial series on the Blender modifiers. Now, in the last one, we did the Subsurf modifier, which allows you to create simple shapes out of more, more complex shapes at, with control points out of, like, let's say a square or a cube. My bad. So, in this one, we're going to be doing the Triangulate modifier. This is a cool modifier, and most of the time, you'll see it used with another modifier, and I'll get to that in a second. So, um, but before we get started, don't forget to check out our website up here. Um, we spent a lot of time making that, and we want you guys to go see that. Also, don't forget to subscribe to us on YouTube. There's also a bug down there if you're, use, if you're watching this on a computer, but I'm just doing this. Um, and then don't forget to follow us on social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Not Facebook yet. We're about to have a Facebook page, so stay tuned. So Instagram, Google+, and Twitter. Um, those you can find us at JG and Games, except for Instagram. Instagram is uh, um, JG and underscore games. Alright, so with that being said, let's get started. So, the triangle modifier is not generally used by itself, but I'll show you in a way that it can be. So, I've got a default project right here. So, I'm going to hit X to delete this, and I'm going to hit Shift A, and I'm going to add the UV sphere. Um, and I'm going to zoom in just so you can kind of see the effects. And I'm going to expand this so we can kind of see the variables and what they say. I'm going to go to Add Modifier, Triangulate. Now, we don't really see much right now um, because, well, that's just that's how it works. But if I hit Apply, now you'll see that all of these have been given Triangulate. Now, this is actually really cool because if we grab all these vertices around one loop I don't know why it's not letting me do it you could oh, just for example move these in and you know those things that are on bar like you could make a twisted um, like pole that would look really cool I'm gonna zoom in and I'm gonna move down you should select oh no Alrighty, and now I'm going to move this in. Golly, I hate Blender's modif modifying thing. Oh, that's my key caster. So you can make a bunch of these, and you can make a really cool looking thing. And then if you smoothed it, you'd have to uh, um, obviously go into here and subdivide it, maybe twice uh, actually not less than that once um, and then just give it sharp edges and I know there's a way you can do it there's some guy that commented and I completely forgot my bad man um, he commented and he showed me how to do it is it space like edge like select sharp there it is select sharp edges there it is so if I went back and I can't Uh, never mind. So, yes, I could. Or I could leave it like that and make it look even cooler. So that's one use of the triangulate modifier. But one of the ways I've used it in, in a past tutorial, um, is with the build and decimate modifier. Now, we know that the build and decimate modifier, the build and modifier is an add modifier. <laughs> and that looks really good, except for the fact that it looks so uniform. And we learned that we could do that with the randomize, but actually, I personally think that looks really cool. Um, if I keep clicking this, you can see, like that actually looks really cool. And if you made this like 50 frames, I guess, no, 50, there. And then you play, see that just looks cool. You could even do like one second, so that'd be like 29.9997. And it wouldn't be there, it'd be. And then if we just went into the render settings real quick because I'm a perfectionist. And then, well, we don't want to play it in reverse. So you can make some really cool animations and do some stuff with materials. And that could look really cool. But another way you can actually add on to this is you can add a triangulate mesh on top. 
and say this to like fixed alternate. And now look. He 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 he. See, it's just a bunch of quick things, and you can play around with them to see what you like best. Uh, shortest looks pretty good most of the time. Whoops, I don't want to play backwards. Um, I mean, you, there's all kinds of things. We can even select beauty because this is beautiful. And because there's triangles, you can do stuff like that. So you could use the triangulate, um, you could use this with a load of modifiers. I was just using the build just because that was an easy one to do it with. And if I apply it, you'll see that we get the same effect. So yeah guys, that's the triangulate modifier. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe and follow us on social media. If you like this tutorial, um, go watch our previous tutorial I did on the subdivision service modifier. I mentioned it at the beginning on how you can make... Um, cool objects out of simple objects like cubes and control them with different control points so don't forget to check that out and don't forget to check out our website again um, don't forget to subscribe and check out us on social media thanks for watching guys and I'll see you guys next time